So for everyone that's been waiting on the details on the merger between HBO Max and Discovery Plus, well, today we got some information. We got all information, actually. We got the pricing, the plan, when it's going to happen, and what to expect from the service. So this video, we're going to jump into the details. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So this is actually my second video. This has been in the work for a while. So HBO Max and Discovery Plus are merging to create a combined streaming service called Max. So essentially dropping the HBO portion, dropping Discovery and the Discovery Plus and just calling it Max. So during the event on Wednesday, Warner Brothers Discovery announced that the new service will launch on May 23rd and cost up to $19.99 per month with two tier price option so they have a $19.99 and they also have a $15.99 package and a $9.99 package so the $19.99 package is called the ultimate package it is ad free it does have 4k hdr dolby atmos for some content 100 offline downloads and four concurrent streams while the $15.99 package uh, this is going to be the standard ad free plan offers hd quality two concurrent streams and 30 offline downloads and last but not least we have the cheapest ad supported plan does offer hd quality and two concurrent streams so you can kind of see the price breakdown right there $9.99, $15.99, and $19.99. So for me, the ad's gonna be a tough sell because if I'm paying for a streaming service and I'm getting ads in between, kind of defeats some of the purpose. But when you look at it, on the other hand, if you're paying for cable television, for instance, YouTube TV, or any live streaming service, you're gonna have ads in your content. So whether you're on a commercial break or whatever the case is, so it kind of works out the same way. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's ads on a VOD service like this, the same thing as ad on a live TV service. So as far as the details of how this merger is gonna happen, so the regular HBO app will go away completely and automatically updates on May 23rd. Discovery Plus will remain as a standalone option to retain the same $4.99 per month price with ads or $6.99 per month without ads. So we do have the option for Discovery at least just to get that and then do have an ad and an ad-free version. So Discovery will automatically migrate HBO Max users, their profiles, their histories, and billing information over to the new service. So this has been in the works for a while. Like I said, this is probably my second video on this. Um, first was the initial talks and a lot of criticism over the name. You thought, you know, they could come up with a better name than Max, but I guess that retained some of the um the hbo carryover so let me know your thoughts on the name in the comment section i'll probably put a poll up as well where you can go ahead and let me know if you think this suits the service all right so as far as the content um if you have hbo if you ever watched discovery or had the discovery service you kind of know what they offer as far as just blending everything together so when you think of discovery you think of a lot of the reality tv stuff you think about the nature stuff a lot of that's going to be in there when you think of hbo max you think blockbuster movies blockbuster uh series and tv shows so unscripted shows and fixer uppers dr pimple popper along with uh, original content from hbo like the succession the last of us and of course game of thrones so the interface of the max app will have some improvement to accommodate both services now again this hasn't been released yet so i uh, can't wait to see what it looks like i did like the hbo max application so just having that combined with discovery i think is going to be a good mix so i'm going to go ahead and leave it here in the comments let me know what you guys think uh always i ask this question just because i feel like netflix is the most popular streaming service with the combination of HBO Max and Discovery Plus, is this a competitor for Netflix? So uh, think about not only the content that's offered, but also think about the pricing. We know that Netflix price went up. Also with the password crackdown, how does that compare to what Max is being offered? Of course, when the service is available, I'll go ahead and do a full review. But until then, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.